quick before we do anything. Um, yeah, I guess if you guys could turn your cameras on, that'd be great. It's nice to not talk to Square, but if not, I, I totally understand. Um, definitely went through the entirety of junior year in Zoom, so I definitely understand the appeal of not having a camera on. So no worries if not, if you want to, that's great. Um, so I guess we're just going to start with an icebreaker because I think only two of you know who I am, which is kind of crazy. Um, it's only been a year. I'm already old, but um, so we're going to start just with a quick icebreaker. I'm going to go, I'll go first. So I'm just going to say my name and then I'm going to talk about, I'm going to just say an activity that besides debate or debate that I enjoy, why I enjoy that activity. And then after that, I'm going to popcorn it to someone. And then you guys can popcorn it to whoever after that, and we'll just go through. Um, yeah, so I'm Nathaniel. I, I'm yeah. My name is Nathaniel. I'm a college freshman currently. Um, I graduated last year. I was with Bottle for most of high school. Um, yeah, for me, my favorite hobby besides debate. Um, I'm a pianist. I I've been playing since I was about seven and I just recently started getting back into it again at the beginning of college and it's been a lot of fun just kind of exploring more on my own time. So on that note, I'm going to popcorn it to um, Daniel. Um, if you could just tell, tell us what your favorite hobby is and what your name is. All right. Um, my name is Daniel Liu and my favorite hobby is to play chess. Uh, I like chess because it's common enough, enough, and you can generally find people to play with you. Uh, I put it to uh, Sophia. Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Sophia, and like an activity that I like to do outside of debate is art because if there's like no really correct way to draw. So yeah, I'm gonna pop run it to uh, Ella. Um, I don't know, it's hard because debate is my hobby. I'll read certain books, not all books. Um, I don't know. I like watching TV. That's just, I like watching lawyer shows, which might count as debate enough but I don't really have another hobby. That's a good hobby. Are the popcorn to someone? I have to. I feel really bad though. Okay. <laughs> it's going down my screen in like this kind of shape. So the next person on my screen is Romero. Uh, hello. Yes, I'm, I'm Romero. And I guess uh, I don't have many hobbies. Uh, apart from just like consuming media, I guess, but um, something I do like to do is like this program paint.net, basically just like a bitmap photo editor. So either like just drawing stuff on there or like editing photos. It's, uh, I guess it's just fun for me. Uh, I think Lucy. Oh, wait, could you guys hear that? I'm sorry. Um, I couldn't, but I don't know if everyone else could. So. I don't think oh, I could hear it. it. I couldn't <laughs> hear it. Um, I said, my name is Lucy, and a hobby I have outside of debate is crochet. Um, I don't think Ellie went yet. Like, um, Ellie, if you want to share really quick. Yeah, I can go. Um, hi, I'm Ellie, and a hobby that I do outside of debate is like argue with other people about TV shows and how they should have gone. Um, that counted? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that counts as not being the baby. Me and my friends will sit down and just talk about like, the the writers did terrible. This is how it needs to be. Um, so I, yeah. I do that too. <laughs> oh. Yes. It's a good hobby, honestly. I also do that. So your your hobby outside of debate then is debate. It's just debating, more debating. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good hobby. That's a good hobby. Um. All right. So uh, yeah, moving on. I guess. Um. So I'm assuming you guys know a little bit about the public debates that are happening soon. Um. 
there's information on them for the Slack. Um, if I can, let me see if I can get the poster open if you guys haven't seen it, and I can I can screen share it really quick. That's a fun one. I can do it. Since that's every college has become a mess. If I can't find it, I'm just gonna like describe it. Change it. Um. Yeah. Let me see. I had it on. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so that's not that's not gonna get found anytime soon. So it's been lost to the depths, but so yeah, so more or less what you guys need to know is um so there's there's gonna be public debates happening soon. There's prep for them tomorrow online. So also I'm gonna let that serve as a reminder, there's no SLC tomorrow, but there will be online prep for those debate for those practice public debate rounds. Additionally, um everyone's allowed to spectate. Those those rounds when they happen, but um, um, but not everyone will be able to participate. But there will be more information on that that is on the Slack and that will be on the Slack in the near future. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Like, okay, great. Because honestly, I just I did not have much more information than that. <laughs> um. All right. So the other thing. So really quick, um, can I just get like a show of hands? It's like who's moving up to open in the near future? Just like give me a sign. All right. I see Ali, see Sophia. Okay. Congrats, congrats. Oh wait, Ali, Ali. Let's go. All right. Did I hear wrong? Did you say who's moving up to open? Yeah. Oh, Aren't we all in sorry. open? I don't know, but he was going to expect novices to up to open. I'm just doing what I was told. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm I, well, up I didn't open. mean to raise my hand then. I'm already in open, but yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So, yeah, Mathena just said, like, I should show you guys, like, open ev and the wiki. So, I'm just going to do that really quick, just in case any of you don't know or aren't aware of it. So, I'm going to share my screen really quick. So yeah, so this is the debate wiki. So um for you guys who don't know. So how you get here is I just Google like open open up because that's what it used to be called and then the site got changed. But just yeah, you Google open up, um, you click this. This will take you here. And then you just click on the current open evidence project and that'll take you here. So this is open evidence. Um so for you guys who don't know. The bottle packet that you guys all have, that's just very much just the base and foundation of what bottle wants you to know or what you need to know in order to participate in debate. There's a lot more outside of that, especially once you start going to tournaments that are outside of bottle or especially national ones, you're going to start seeing a lot more stuff that isn't the packet. So, um, yeah, so we're just scrolling down, down here. You see like advantage CPs, so it's more, more counter plans of what's currently in the packet. Critiques, um, those are fun. You'll start seeing those eventually if you haven't already. DAs, um, yeah, it's like lots of lots of case. So, like, just as an example, um, oh, since you're already open, can you just tell me what you're running really quick if it's on open of? Are you me? If you're running anything, not open of, tell me what it is, <laughs> just so we can like. Um, tell me. All right. So, so we're looking at this. This, so this, this, is the, this is the file of the case. So if we're going down, this is the one AC. This is what you would read if you were AF. This is all the one AC stuff. So if we go all the way down, um, yeah. So this is this is the this is the full AF for this case, right? So could you guys see that? I'm not. I think my screen sharing, but no. I don't know if it's just for me, but I don't think you're sharing the right screen. Oh no. Okay. All right. So here's what I'm gonna say. So what you guys need to know. So if you so let's say you run into someone on the circuit and they're running human germline germline genetic engineering, right? 
and you don't know how to answer that. So you have you would have the AF right here if you're hitting the AF. And so all you need to do is download this file after you come to this page, and then it'll open up in Microsoft Word or Pages on Apple, which was completely new to me. But yeah, so that'll open up there, and then you guys can look at the full AF and and every card in the AF. You guys can get a feel for that. Or if you want to run it, you will have all the cards at your immediate disposal. So moving on from that, let's say you um, let's let's say you hit it and you don't know what to do what to, what to do about it. So there's a case negatives tab down here. It's all the way it's a, all the way down. Um, but this is all the case negatives for the for the topic this year. So if you're hitting and if you're hitting the and germline engineering half again, and you need the negative stuff for it, it's right here. So you just download the file, pick what you need, and then yeah, just go win around. Does that make sense? Like, just if, if there are any questions I can answer or anything. I'm gonna, all right, cool, I'm gonna move on. So um, moving on really quick to, so I'm gonna move on to the wiki now. So, as, so you guys might know the uh, new norm for bottle is that you do need to disclose for all tournaments. So this includes bottle tournaments. So that means that there's no more surprise advantage to running a Shrek K in open. Who would do that? I would never do that. Anyway, moving on. Um, so if so, we're on the wiki. So this is how you're going to disclose. So you're going to go to your school. So I went to Oakland Tech, so I'm going to go there. Um, so I found Oakland Tech, just command F, you know, find it, click the school. So my, I mean, yeah, my partner is no longer here, but if I wanted to add, if I wanted to add a team, what I would do is I would go, go down here, put the debater first name, put the debater last name, and then put your partner's first and last name, and then press this button to add the team. So then also if you were, if you wanted to add a round or add a case, you would go in here and then you would click add round and you would drag the file that has your case in it into this little box right here. And so that's going to allow other teams to see your case so that they know what to do so that you don't get disclosure theory wrong on you. So yeah, so that, yeah. In national tournaments, you can lose rounds if you don't do this because people will just say that you're basically destroying the bait by not disclosing because it doesn't give them a fair chance to prepare a proper argument against you. So just be aware of that. Um, just disclosing is also just good sportsmanship. It's just something you should do. Um, so it's a pain for anyone who's prepping against you. So yeah, I'm gonna stop sharing now. That's the those are the announcements for today. So moving on from that, we're just gonna jump into some speaking drills really quick. Um all right. So we're gonna start with um we're gonna start with just speaking fast. So just take out something to read. Read it as fast as you can. Unmute. I want to be able to hear you speeding. Sp speeding. That's all good. I want to be able to hear you spreading. So yeah, so just unmute, read as fast as you can, focus on clarity over speed for now, but as fast as you can when you can understand every word you're saying. Yeah, so fast, loud, clear. That's what you're looking for. So I'm going to set a timer for three minutes and then we're going to start. Does everyone have something to read? Just give me a thumbs up. If you do. Can it just be anything? Yeah, anything you want. Just have some right. really well. I think I read like the nutrition details and like a few good spots so it can literally be anything. anything. Um all right, so unmute and start reading. I'm gonna just count down from three and then yeah. So three, two, one, ready and start.
Fuck them. We're still gonna be a fight each other. Rather than making that active, you're gonna sign of it. Uh, 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 that's how we're gonna focus on the content. Uh, 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 uh,
Call you a warning of survivors remember it backward when you're reading the goal isn't necessarily speed the speed will come but it's more just that you start to recognize the words in the order. So you're just reading what's on the paper. It's not, yeah, you're just reading what's on the paper, regardless of the order. Um, yeah, uh, this is going well. So let's do a third one. Um, I'm going to say, let's do one breath, because I like that one. Um, so, but that means just keep reading until you run out of breath. Um, last person to finish reading or stop reading because you're out of breath. Um, it's just my respect, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't have any material prize. I'm sorry. But yeah. So yeah, just keep reading until you run out of breath. Don't suffocate. Uh, do we like breathe in really hard beforehand? Yeah, just take a deep breath. All right. And then just breathe as long as you can. What if I run out of breath? Do I stop? Yeah, just stop. Yeah. Okay. All right, so ready, set, go. Truly bring a better reality into being in real time practice. Yeah. Good job. That's good. Yeah, no, that's really good. good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was like a good amount of time. So, yeah, because breath control, of course, is super important in debate. If you're up giving like, your 1A or whatever, you're up there talking for eight minutes, right? So, you want to be able to control when you're taking breaths so that your speech remains clear. So, that doesn't, I guess, that doesn't mean that you have to be. You're not going to be reading for extreme amounts of time on one breath, but you want to be able to control when that breath comes so that when it comes, you're able to stop in a place that makes sense. So for example, like at the beginning of a card, you take a breath and then you continue on the next card as opposed to stopping in the middle of the card. That's going to keep you. Okay. But good job on that. That was good. Start the recording up again. So there we go. You guys 
all heard the voice. All right. Like, I'm not sure. Okay. So, I guess we're going to start where we left off then. Um, because I think a good amount of us are back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, a good majority of us are back. So let's just get started again where we left off. So, Sophia and Romero, you guys just got into novice or open, right? Like, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do is you two. Um, I'm gonna have you guys read your one ACs, and I'm gonna just give you some feedback, and we're gonna go through it really quick. And then as well, um, if you've been in open longer, so Harper and Daniel, if you want, you can feel free to jump in as well, because I'm sure you guys have some good feedback to give. I'm not in open. Oh. Okay, so you're gonna give your one AC two then, and me and Harper will criticize you. Constructively. No, yeah, but yeah, we'll give you feedback. feedback. And when you guys are done, yeah, feedback. It's gonna be great. Okay. So are you guys? So do you guys have like your one ACs ready? Yeah, but I'm still like practicing on like reading it. So. so that's okay. That's what we're here for. So just you can just read it anyway. Just read what you have. Okay. Yeah. Wait, do I read like the like everything, like the highlighted parts and the tag? Um. Yeah. Just the highlighted bits and the tag. Okay. So when you're reading, yeah, when you're reading any speech with cards, you just read the highlighted bits. You read the tags. So what you would bring in around? Okay. Can I go second? Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Um, Daniel, I'm gonna make you go first. Um, so, sure. all right. You need me to turn on my camera? Um, if you want to. If you don't, that's okay. okay. If you want to, you all should. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, am I gonna have eight minutes? Yeah, I'm gonna give you eight minutes. But if you finish before eight minutes, that's all right. All right, thank you. Uh, does it start with my first word? Yeah. All right. Uh, is the timer ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Uh, when I see advances one Russia, the United States to increase our efforts with NATO to improve NATO's and their own cybersecurity, especially against Russia. Russia. It was at all 2016. Developments in the cybersecurity operations of NATO will have paralleled the growth of cybersecurity as a major policy concern to the United States. The new world revolution has also changed the basic environment in which governments operate, necessitating increasing levels of cross-border interdependence and connectivity. NATO cybersecurity we have proven insufficient to fully address as the growing cyber threat landscape. NATO cyber attacks are becoming more frequent more organized and more costly. NATO itself has been targeted directly by Russian hackers. The attack by Russia on Ukrainian power grid underscores the fact that Russia cyber attacks and capabilities are very real. Next, strong international cyber war is essential to preventing Russia's escalating cyber war. Migrate 2020. In December 2020, Russian intelligence infiltrated U.S. tech farm floor with inserted malware. The virus was spread to the Pentagon, the State Department, Homeland Security, the Treasury, and other U.S. government agencies. The victims discovered vast amounts of their data had been stolen. Politically motivated cyber attacks interfere in democratic processes and political discourse. The Ukraine's government has been hit by three of the cyber attacks that wiped out data on some government computers. There's critical infrastructure has long been vulnerable to attack. Next, next, Russian cyber attacks escalate to nuclear war. CNBC 2020. The threat posed by Russia could become a more acute if it felt humility on the battlefield. Putin has had a history of escalating unpredictability if he feels that Russia is being humiliated in some way, and if there are major setbacks, then there's risk of unbreakable action. Putin enjoys using risk and thinks that he has a much larger appetite for risk in the West. If he uses nuclear weapons, even a demonstration strike, this would turn Russia into a global pariah. Next, next, what I see, advantage two, civic engagement. The U.S. weak cybersecurity and constant attacks from Russia is the cost of growing elected distrust. U.S. News 2019. State election officials and social media executives worked to limit intervention in the 2020 elections by Russia and other foreign operatives. An unsettling truth is emerging. Putin may already be succeeding. Russian meddling in the 2016 campaign sweeping and systemic. The damage may ha have already been done. This is Putin's game plan. So distrust, discord, disillusionment, and division. It's his playbook for Western democracies. We're vulnerable to disinformation. There's a real danger to 
has such distrust and integrity in our election system that has lasting damage. It, um, when I see advantage free social media, uh, uh, Russian information, it has sabotaged NATO's cohesion. Center for International Governance Innovation, 2020. Russia's propaganda and disinformation apparatus turns out conspiracy fears and what about it? Russian disinformation has run on a series of NATO. A series of narratives. NATO calls the security risk to Russia that, that Ukraine was run by neo-Nazis, that Ukraine is responsible for slaughtering citizens. Those narratives have been somewhat effective in discouraging a unified response to NATO. They've influenced millions of Westerners and found purchases to the far right. right. Next, X trusted news has been hacked, spread information and disinformation against NATO and spread far right extremism. Greenberg 2020. Disinformation has taken an evolutionary leap forward. Hacking legitimate news sites to plant fake stories and hardly amplifying them on social media before it's taken down. A focus on undermining the US and NATO, the hacking campaign has spread in false stories about US military aggression, you know, soldiers spreading coronavirus, and NATO planning a foreign invasion of Belarus. It's, it's, they're pushing these stories out, oh, hacking local or media websites and planning them in fictional stories. Um, next, uh, when I see someone see, NATO cyber cooperation and information sharing is the only way to adequately protect war from militia attacks. NATO 2020. Cyber defense is part of the alliance core task of collective defense. NATO recognized cyberspace as a domain and operations in which NATO must defend itself as effectively as it does on the air, land, and sea. Most crises and conflicts today have a cyber dimension. And allies have pledged to strengthen and enhance in, uh, the cyber defense of national networks and infrastructure as a matter of priority. This will reinforce the cyber defense and overall res resilience of the alliance. The impact of significant malicious cumulative cyber attacks might it be considered an armed attack. The nature of cyberspace requires a comprehensive approach for unity of effort at the political, military, and technical levels. Allies who enhance their national cybersecurity defenses by facilitating information sharing, exchange of best practices, and by conducting cyber defense exercises to develop national expertise. Next, next, unified cyber attacks is essential for deterring potential state and non-state hackers from inflicting damage and provincial violence and, and escalation. Center for Maritime International Maritime Security 2020. The American, uh, the new deterrent in framework in cyberspace must focus communicating clear intent and building in enduring credibility through red lines of current language. The query red lines make clear the unwanted risk, cost, and consequences of specific actions. And they are an important way to influence the adversary's risk perception and rational calculus or the likelihood of misunderstanding and encourage restraint. This clear warning should have the effect of causing malicious cyber actors to think twice before acting and consider that the real cost may be greater than any intended benefits. Next, information sharing is essential to protecting neighbor NATO cyberspace. Goal in 2020. If NATO is to become more resilient, then it must facilitate access to data and information on sharing platforms and across multiple domains, namely in air, cyber, information, land, maritime, and space operations. Since the invasion of Ukraine in 2020 shattered any illusions of lasting peace with Russia. China's emerging technologies have intensified right? great power competition. NATO can do this by a establish, establishing a new center of excellence on data and information sharing. Uh, uh, I see the rest of my time. All right, that's solid. Uh, you had about three minutes left, so that's pretty good. So that oh, means, okay. yeah. Oh. So you used up the majority of your time. So what that means, that's that's great. So what that tells me is, you can put more stuff in there. You can read more. You can put out more arguments, put more evidence. That's really good. <laughs> so like, yeah. So having a lot of time left is actually a lot better than going over. Because if you go over, of course, you have to start trimming stuff. And then that's harder than adding new stuff. So I'm going to just jump into the feedback I have for you now. So I think just a general thing that I wanted was, I think, when you're reading, of course, it's like, it's going to be different over Zoom. But no matter where you're reading, you should just be really projecting, right? Like, just... I'm not saying like scout, but it's like you're talking to the back of the room, right? If you're in a room and you're talking to someone, you're not talking to that person, but you're talking to the person behind them, or you're talking to the wall behind them, right? You, you want your voice to travel. So focus on, so just overall, I, what I really wanted to hear more from that speech is just like less of, for lack of a better word, just monotone and more like emotion and more passion and just projection in general. Cause that's gonna lend a lot to your speech. Cause when judges are looking at you for speaker point scores, they're looking at the way you talk, not just what you're saying. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, thank you. All right, um, all right, great. Also, I just want to ask for your second advantage. Um, how many cards did you read? Advantage. 
that was only one part. Okay, so yeah, so I that's, that's so when you're breeding an advantage, um, your advantage, second advantage should present an issue that your plan will solve. And so that what generally what that generally means is, although I think that card was good about saying like presenting a problem, presenting like a potential thing that'll happen. You do want a, now that you do want more cards that explain what is actually going to happen and how your plan actually solves for it because that card didn't really do that. What I got from that card is that bad cybersecurity primarily leads to election distrust, right? And that Putin sows disinformation, and that's a bad thing. But I don't really have a card that explains how the AF plan uniquely is going to fix this issue. And so that's what you really want is as well, especially later in the debate and rebuttals, you want a card specifically that you can refer back to and say, this card said this, right? That makes sense? Yeah, it does. Thank you. No, yeah, no problem. Do you have any questions for me? Just about anything I've done. What would you say a good amount of solvency cards would be? Um, I think you have three, right? I got three down. Is that? Uh, I had... Uh... In that speech, I used, yeah, three, three solvency cards. I would say three is a good amount. Um, if you're, if you're, you're clearly able to add cards, I would say... Well, fo focus first on fleshing out advantage two, because if you're going to right. read that advantage, you need more stuff in it. So then I would... Okay, how many cards do you read for advantage three? Advantage three, I read... Uh, two cards. How many? Two cards. Two cards. Okay. So what I have uh, is okay. I didn't quite catch the first card, which is on me, but it was not propaganda, was it? Is that correct? Uh, it was just about general disinformation, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, so I had a similar problem with that advantage card in that it didn't really have a clear solvency. All and right. I would add another solvency card there for sure. And I think the, your first advantage does a good enough job of it's it's more or less it's it for what it is it's good it it'll stand on its own it'll be okay you could tentatively add another solvency card in there but I think it's okay and for general solvency I think you're I think you're fine if you have extra time add another card in there if you don't that's all right all right yeah but really just focus on fleshing out those advantages because those are the core of your app. All right. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Do you have any questions? Let me know. Um, all right. Oh, also, before I forget, you're running cybersecurity, right? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. So it's okay right now, since you're not in open yet, but when you do move into open, just, uh, I guess, be ready to see other stuff, right? Because like I said before, not everyone in the national tournament is going to be running cybersecurity. So just be prepared to switch to something new. Or be prepared to prep for new things that aren't cybersecurity. All right. Yeah, so open it super valuable in that respect. Okay. Yeah. So moving on to uh, Sophia. Give your one today. Yeah. All right. Good. Sorry. All right. So um. Yeah, we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to time you. You're going to go through it, and then we're going to talk about it. So. Okay. So. Nope. Okay, uh, did I begin now? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Or, yeah, I'll, I'll okay. start in your first word. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, cyber attacks are increasing now that frequency and severity are threatening NATO and operations and infrastructure market 2022. Most just cyber activity has increased substantially over the past years. Aging critical infrastructure has long been vulnerable to attack. Malware has time bombs in the critical cyber cyber networks of target countries such as energy, telecom, and transportation sectors. Cyber attacks have become a theater for greater power conflict in gov which government and military respect in the hybrid gray zone. Russia's growing technological advances EW will allow its forces to gen search and interfere with NATO communications, radar, and other sensor systems unmanned aerial vehicles and other assets. It, it is nevertheless important that NATO continue to adapt to the evolving cyber threat landscape. Status quo. NATO efforts are enough. 
the deterrence, defense, and interoperability are failing because of the lack of coordination. Blessing 21. Server dynamics where the limits of failed daily and fail safe logistics underlying NATO's collective defense initiatives. These strategic logics only apply to narrow set of threats. NATO lacks common con lacks common standards for guide or guidance for attributing cyber operations in a technical or political sense. Actions to magnitude the effects of a cyber attack are limited to NATO networks or to individual member states. For this forecloses the possibility of developing an institutional strategy to magnitude more, pro more problematically, allies will have, have and will continue to have different legal, strategic, doctrinal that threat threatens framework. This can also exaggerate interoperability problems. Next, cyber security cause escalation of conflicts. Gazik and Lindsay 17. Cyber is overhyped. Cyber is overhyped but when conjunction uh, with the weapons mass of mass destruction severe and unappreciated unappreci dangers emerge. Lo localized events can turn kinetic when leaders are ill ill prepared. An attack will hack nuclear con and control will gain an advantage. Generate initiatives for both sides to rush it, to prevent or escalate. Clandestine Cl attacks a more in insidious threat to crisis stability. Um, next, um, an es entangled NATO response to inevitable Russian cyber aggression triggers a nuclear escalation ladder. O'Hallen 19. NATO military response to Russian aggression seems like very likely. The stage would be set for World War III. Russia might impede or deployment through cyber attacks, which would slow deployment. This escalation could easily result. One shot one shots of where fire NATO would be unlikely to back down. This could in they could engage in a nuclear escalation ladder that reached potentially all our war dangers during the women would snowball. Next, Russia war caused extinction, cotton bear night 17. Uh nuclear war between US and Russia. Russia's um in an all out nuclear war between US and Russia. The aftermath could send massive amounts of smoke into the atmosphere. Nuclear winter could drop global temperatures, making it impossible to grow food. The threat of extinction would be extinction would be great, only possible between the US and Russia. A small war are like leaked to lead to extension. The risk is possibly greater from Russia. Cyber war causes nuclear war and draw in even if NATO Russia war does not independently cause nuclear deterrence. Claire 19. The links between cyber war and nuclear war are growing. China, the China, the U.S., Iran, and North Korea have established this offense cyber cyber operations aimed critical aimed at critical infrastructure. The most dangerous path to escalation would arise from early use of cyber weapons in a great power crisis. The respondent might fear punishing attacks, including nuclear weapons, this might occur in a confrontation between NATO and Russia forces. The recipient might view attacks as a prelude to a full-scale attack and choose strike first. Even a limited attack could set both a slippery slope for, to rapid escalations. If state if state comes to believe its systems are infested, leaders might erect launch nuclear out of nuclear weapons out of fear at risk of preemptive strike. This uncertainty caused by cause could jeopardize credibility of the nuclear deterrent and undermine strategic stability. Nuclear deterrence next. Nuclear deterrence solves a stent, ex, ex, existential threat. Shelton 18. Nuclear deterrence underpins national security. It remains revel, relevant to deter ex, existential threats. It helps deter cas, catastrophic consequences such as biological weapons. U.S. is much endure survival provided by secure nuclear Posture. We must deter attacks on allies North Korea, including on uh, employ employment of nuclear weapons, conventional conflicts. Next, NATO unity. Diverging cyber security policies lock in the current rift in the alliance. This means 21. Growing differences are apparent, especially in the development of cyber offenses capabilities. The U.S. emphasizes the need to cause friction globally, continuously, and smoothly. NATO members' positions are on how international laws apply are, are now more divergent. The divergence in cyber policy is problematic. Goals, goals and the ways and means can cause tension. Differences do not merely stem from states lagging behind coordinating different policies, bring them closer together. Russia will exploit divisions between NATO and NATO members to invest, instigate nuclear crisis ex 
extinction Kyosa 18. Once a conflict was underway, the fog of war and unpredictability would inevitably set. Russia theorists assume conflict can be, ma can be managed, controlled. The Russia theory seeks exploits weak points alliance, assumes threats of escalation effective, it would push boundaries to exploit divisions. Any conflict would have a nuclear dimension for escalation control. There are a wide range of op options for Russia to use. A singular nuclear war could be lethal. Next, Russia cyber ops are the key to strategy of disrupting NATO unity fragmentation gives Russia leverage to increase populism, Johnson 2021. NATO are based on a political agreement that acknowledges mutual interests. Russia stands little chance of prevailing in this conflict in the face of committed and united West. It has a great opportunity to succeed against a divided West. Russia has sought to exploit the fact that through its support for far right and populist actors and movements that are united in their uh, position to, uh, to NATO. There is an incentive for Russia to influence the outcome of these processes to create instability. Populism increased the risk of nuclear world nuclear world order and non fashion norms causes a global nuclear war. Mayor and Ralph Tony One populists undermine the nuclear order and increase dangers. The rise of nationalist populists in Nuclear armed states raising the risk of nuclear war. Nationalist populists talk differently about nuclear weapons. These leaders are in nu the nuclear order built on the principal ascendance of restraint by nuclear weapon states. Plan the, U the United States federal government should substantially increase its cybersecurity intelligence sharing training and cap capacity building for cyber operations within the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Solvency. The plan solves increased intelligence sharing and coordination and training leads to better attribution and response framework that's key to effective cyber deterrence and agitation market 2022 to make nato nato future proof it must be cyber secure and operational denying coverages by attribution leads to greater public acceptance of cyber countermeasures the public attributions framework right, that's collecting fine. the process that's fine. Okay. Hey, that was good that was good you know you got through a lot all right, that's like, I know, I think I missed a few that. cards, um, which it, like, that's on me, but you got through what, this is 14 cards. That's good. Like, that, that's fast. It shows that you can get through a lot, right? We like that. That's great. And you got the solvency. So that's good. I was like, sitting here sweating when you were one minute down, like, oh God, oh no, you're not going to get the solvency. And I'm going to have to be like, oh, you need some solvency in there. And I'm going to have to, you know. Right, but no, you got to it, so that's good because I know it exists, which is awesome. So yeah, okay. so like when you're reading, if nothing else, if you if you're low on time and you know you're low on time, get to solvency. That's like so that becomes your priority. priority. If you're under like, you know, if you're under a certain amount of time and you still have like an advantage left to read, skip advantage. Make sure you get to solvency. If you get through your solvency, you can just go back to that advantage. Because what will happen if you don't read solvency, like. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what happens. Wait, sorry, what did you say? I just talked over you. Oh, or nothing. I was just agreeing. Yeah. All right. I think you got the idea. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. But yeah, no, like overall, like that wasn't that bad. You saw it was good. Just I would say, like, first things first, just you know, remember focus on just getting the words out and getting them clear and getting them loud. Like the speech sounded good. It was at a good speed. And yeah, all you have to do is just focus on clarity and speeding up a little bit, and you'll be able to get through that. How... Oh, yeah, okay. How many cards did you have I've left in that speech? Three? Uh, yeah, I had about like, um, after like. For my solvency, I had three cards in total. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, like we can work with that. Like that's not that bad. That's like that. That's good. That's good. good. Like you can get through two cards. That would take you what? Like maybe another minute, right? At most. Um. Yes. So if we're just going into like the, did you only read uh one advantage, or like was all that under one advantage? Uh, no, uh, it was. 
Um, NATO, Unity, and um, and Cyber War. Okay. Like, yeah. All right, so that's just my bad. I missed them. But um, so for the Cyber War, I think that was your first advantage. I would say you can cut a few of these cards because some of these cards say the same thing. Okay. Like, yeah, like your Blessing 21 and your Cyber Talks are increasing now card. I, from what I heard, I felt like those were basically saying the same thing. You probably cut one. I would cut Blessing because if it's the card I'm thinking of, um, I I had a, I did not like that card. Like if you read between the lines, if I'm thinking of the right card, it does not say what it you what it wants you to, or what it wants to say. It it says other things and just that are not really helpful to your case. So I would consider cutting that card if it's the one that I'm thinking of. Which yeah. So also on that note, just remember read between the cards or read between the lines of the cards. Read the non highlighted stuff all the time. Because sometimes the card is going to say stuff that you don't want to say. Right. And if I am, if your your opponent sees that and they go through the card and they're like, "Wait, their card doesn't say what they what what they said it said." Right. You now have to deal, deal with, with the fact that your evidence is speaking against you. Right. And that's just not fun. You don't want that. Um. So for. Yeah, just something else for both Sophia and Daniel that I forgot to mention after Daniel's speech, but you guys both did a really good job of signposting, which is great. So being like, this is advantage one, this is advantage two, or next card, right? Stuff like that. That's really great, and that makes it a lot easier to flow. The one thing I would say you guys both should do more of is change your enunciation when you're reading a tag or when you're saying, when you're switching to a new advantage or a new card, right? So if you're you have your reading voice, right? Which is like, NATO's gonna blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's the text of the article, text of the card, right? But then you should also have a differently enunciated voice for when you're reading attack, right? So I might say like, cyber attacks are increasing now, that's um, blessing 21, right? And then you go into your reading the card voice, right? And then you go back, back into the tag voice so that the judge, because that also signals to the judge like, oh, this is something new, right? And the same goes for advantages, just because you really don't want the judge to miss a new advantage. Um, yeah. I think that's, yeah, I think that's a book of, of stuff I have for you. I think just like, yeah, mainly just focus on clarity. The speed will come. Don't sweat it too much. Um, yeah, and then signposting. And then also, so again, just because I like I did miss the split between the first and second advantage, but I think your first advantage was really big, and I think you could break that up a, a little bit. bit. So just yeah, just um do that as well. Just try to show it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. Uh, Romero, do you want to go? You're up. You're Sorry, my mic was muted. Uh, I'm not. Good. I don't really have front lines, or I don't know. I assumed that I was like meant to make front lines, but I also didn't uh know where to start with that. Okay, we can work. We can work through that later. Do you have a one A? Do you have a one AC? No, I ran novice pack the first tournament, and then in the second tournament, I ran um with a partners pack. Okay. Uh, do you want to just read your read the do you have your partner's pack for your partner's game? Um, I can check. Let me see. Okay. If not, you can just read the cyber cybersecurity one. Like, no, I'm here to judge your case, case just as much as I'm here to judge how you speak. So. Uh, okay. Just give me what you have. No worries. No pressure. Yeah, I think I got his um one AC. All right. Do you want to? Are you comfortable trying to give that, or do you? Would you rather give yeah. the cybersecurity? I mean, I think uh, I was able to. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think that this one would be good. All right, okay, let's do that. All right. Um, should I time myself as well, just to... If you want to. Otherwise, yeah. I'll start with this one. All right. Also, just um, wondering. I feel like sometimes your mic like feels like it goes like underwater, and it's hard to hear like the stuff you're saying. Do you, you like know what's causing that? 
I think it's my internet. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah. if it happens again, just let me know and I can we can work around it. Yeah, I mean it's not too. It's it's just like, it, it you're still understandable most of the time. Okay. If it does get bad, though, let me know. All right. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Okay, eight minutes and make sure I have something ready. Hmm. All right. Uh, you you ready as well? Yes. All right. 1AC, cyber war. Cyber attacks are increasing now. The frequency and severity are threatening NATO operations and infrastructure. Micro 22. Malicious cyber activity has increased substantially. Uh, aging critical infrastructure is long been run, run built to attack. Malware uh, as malware acts as time bombs in the critical cyber networks of target countries, such as the energy, telecom, and transportation sectors. Cyber attacks have become a theater for great power conflict in which governments and militaries fight in the hybrid gray zone. Russia's growing technological advances in electronic warfare will allow its forces to jam, disrupt, and interfere with NATO communications, radar, and other sensor systems, unmanned aerial vehicles, and other assets. It's nevertheless important that NATO continue to adapt to the evolving cyber threat landscape. Next, status quo NATO efforts are enough. Deterrence, defense, and interoperability are failing because of a lack of coordination. Blessing 21. Several dynamics reveal the limits of failed deadly and fail safe logics underlying NATO's collective defense initiatives. These strategic logics only apply to a narrow set of threats. NATO lacks common standards or guidance for attributing cyber operations in a technical or political sense. Actions to mitigate the effects of a cyber attack are limited to NATO networks or to individual member states. Uh, that forecloses the possibility of developing an institutional strategy to mitigate. More problematically, uh, allies have and will continue to use different legal, strategic, doctrinal, and threat frameworks. This can also exacerbate interoperability problems. It is unlikely that every intrusion can be successfully countered or even identified. Fail-safe measures cannot effectively mitigate supply chain risks. Next, cyber insecurity cause escalation of existing conflicts. Uh, Gartsk and Blinze 17. Cyber is overhyped, but in conjunction with weapons of mass destruction, dangers emerge. Localized events turn kinetic when leaders are ill-prepared. A hacker who attacks nuclear and will gain an advantage, generate incentives for both sides to preempt or escalate. Clandestine attacks uh, are more insidious set to crisis stability. Attacks on critical infrastructure, power, and communications uh, has a cascading effect. This concerns us. A product of bluffing, sincerity, or intrinsic uncertainty is one reason for deterrence failure. Uh, adding allies introduces additional instability. An abrinquenship crisis windows for coercion, fleeting with real risks of spiral and war. Next, uh, an entangled NATO response to inevitable Russian cyber attack Aggression triggers a nuclear escalation ladder. O'Hanlon, 19. NATO military response to Russian aggression seems likely. A stage would be set for World War III. Russia might have impeded development through cyber attacks, which would slow the deployment. So that escalation cannot easily result. Once shots are fired, NATO would be unlikely to back down. They could be engaged in a nuclear escalation ladder that reached to uh, all at war. Dangers during the deployment when snowball command and control systems would be uh, compromised, including those used for nuclear weapons. Next, Russia war causes extinction. Khan Barat 17. In a nuclear war between the US and Russia, the aftermath could send massive amounts of smoke into the atmosphere. A nuclear winter could drop global temperatures, making it impossible to grow food. The threat of extinction would be great, only possible between the US and Russia. A small war is, are unlikely to lead to its extinction. The risk is greater from Russia. Next, cyber war causes nuclear war and draw in even if NATO Russia war does not independently crushes nuclear deterrence. Claire 19. Links between cyber war and nuclear war are growing. China, Russia, the US, Iran, NOCO have offensive cyber operations aimed at critical infrastructure. The most dangerous path to escalation arises from the early use of cyber weapons in a great power crisis. Recipient might fear pushing, punishing attacks, including nuclear weapons. This may occur in confrontation between NATO and Russia. A recipient may view the attacks as preload to a full-scale attack and strike first. Even a limited attack could set a slippery slope to rapid escalation. If the states come to believe it's critical infrastructure, Systems are infested. Leaders may might overreact, launch nukes out of fear, out of brand strike. The uncertainty could jeopardize the credibility of nuclear deterrent and undermine strategic stability. Next, nuclear deterrence solves existential threats. Children 18. Nuclear deterrence underpins national security. It remains relevant to deter the existential threats. It helps deter Kaiser of consequences such as bioweapons. U.S. missions ensure survival provided by a safe, secure nuclear posture. We must deter attacks on allies as Russia, China, and North Korea include employment of nukes in conventional conflicts. Next, NATO utility. Diverging cyber security policy is locked in current rifts in the alliance. This meets 21. Growing differences are apparent, especially in the deployment of offensive cyber capabilities. The United States emphasizes the need to cause friction globally continuously and seamlessly. NATO member positions on how international law applies are now more divergent. The divergence in cyber policy is problematic goals and the ways and means can cause tension. Differences do not merely stem from states lagging behind. Coordinating different policies brings them together. 
Next, Russia will exploit divisions between NATO mem members to instigate nuclear crises. Extinction. Kalesa 18. Once the conflict was underway, the fog of war un and unpredictability would have ine inevitably set in. Russian theorists assume conflict can be controlled. Russian theory seeks to exploit weakness, weak points in alliance. Russia assumes threats of escalation uh, could be effective. It would push the boundaries to exploit divisions. Any conflict would have a nuclear dimension. For escalation control, there are a right range of, wide range of options for Russian use. A singular nuclear shock could be lethal. Detonation could be an EMP effect. A false flag complicates responses. A conflict would have to be limited to avoid uh, to avoid a nuclear exchange. Relying on escalation control might be misleading. A Russian-NATO conflict would be a uh, leapfrog escalation. Both sides underestimate the resolve. Next, neo cohesion checks numerous existential crises. Gallagher 19. In great power competition, alliance provides the U.S. with advantages. The U.S. and Europe have interests with terror Migration, nuclear weapons, and readiness. NATO is one alliance that allows for cooperation. NATO keeps competitors pushing back influence. Europe is a bit like oxygen. You take it for granted, you'll miss it when it's gone. Next, Russian cyber ops give Russia leverage to increase populism. Johnson, 2021. NATO are based on a political agreement that acknowledges mutual interest. Russia stands little chance of prevailing in this conflict in the face of a committed and united West. It has great opportunity to succeed against a divided West. Russia has sought to exploit this fact through its support for far-right and populist actors and movements that are united in their opposition to NATO. There is an incentive for Russia to influence the outcome of these pro processes to create instability. Populism increases the risk of global nuclear war. Meyer and Vail of 21. Populists undermine the nuclear order and increase dangers. The rise of nationalist populists and nuclear armed states raising the risks of nuclear war. Nationalist populists talk differently about nuclear weapons. These leaders threaten the nuclear order built on the principled acceptance restraint by nuclear weapon states. Uh, next. Uh, plan text. The United States federal government should substantially increase its cybersecurity intelligence, sharing, training, and capacity building for cyber operations within the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Next, so let's see. The plan solves increased intelligence sharing, coordination, and training leads to better attribution and response frameworks. That's key to effective cyber deterrence and mitigation. Migrate 22. To make NATO future proof, it would it must be secure and operate cyber secure and operational. Denying covertness by attribution leads to greater public acceptance of cyber countermeasures. The public attribution framework collecting and processing intelligence provides a technical basis for attribution. Sharing information and intelligence builds coalitions. A good plan requires practice. Training and cooperation enables countries to share best practices. Regular cyber exercises should take place in multinational NATO battle groups led by the U.S. Concrete resilience goals, capacity building efforts ranging from strategic advice to cyber institution building and defense sectors to education and and training or advice and assistance in cyber defense. Next, increase U.S. cybersecurity cooperation in the form of intelligence sharing and training solve cyber trends. Porter and Jordan 19. You also make important policy changes, a willingness to sometimes risk sensitive source, uh, greater transparency, and military to military cyber training. NATO's purpose is to safeguard freedom and security of all its members. Tolerating cyber attacks without the alliance having the capability to jointly discuss attribution undermines the core purpose of the alliance. Next, new cooperation is key. Cyber system resilience depends on coordinated information sharing. The plan spills up and out to all allied networks. Blessing 21. Cyber resilience offers a way for the alliance to address a range of threats. Resilience offers a breach, broader strategic umbrella. Cyber resilience hinges on the ability of key information and communication systems to anticipate and withstand disruptions. NATO already, NATO already possesses strategic strategic foundation for pursuing greater cyber resilience. It emphasize the need for greater resources, information sharing, and education. However, safe to fail policies require more formalized coordination across NATO. So protecting cyber resilience forward to NATO's partner countries also provides an avenue from which to strengthen the alliance's cooperative security engagements. That's, I'm done. Well, that was right on the dot. Well, yeah. <laughs> good job. That was, that was pretty good. Um, yeah. So time-wise? That's pretty good. I would consider taking out one card maybe yeah just just to make sure you have the right i'm gonna say it to you but i said to sophia and daniel as well if you're moving it to open consider getting like picking out a new app from open up it's gonna change it will literally change your life it'll be great uh, uh are you do you have any tips for like choosing just like uh, a pack um i would say fine if possible, find something that sticks out to you specifically because it'll make it easier to do research on it. Mm, okay. Yeah. So like you see something and you're like, oh, that's that, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Other than that, um, it doesn't really matter. Like you could just go in there, just scroll randomly, and just pick whatever your cursor ends up on. Huh, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pick what sounds good. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I would really, really just press get a new one because if the circuit is anything like it was last year when I was on it, everyone has extensive, extensive blocks for cybersecurity. Like mm, everyone okay. on the bottle circuit. Yeah. And yeah. Because like 
it's the one thing that everyone knows is going to be wrong. Um, so this is something for all of you as well. I don't, okay, unless I missed something. I don't think any of you, okay, because so you started off your first speech with cyber attacks are increasing now. Is that correct? Uh, that was your first I'm part. pretty sure. Let me make, scroll the way up. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's, that's the one I started with. Is that your first example? Uh, I assume so, yeah. Okay, so when you're starting, you need to tell the judge that that's your first advantage because advantages okay. are flowed on separate sheets of flow paper. So, yeah, yeah, just so they know. Because what, that, what happened there was when you, because the same thing happened in the second advantage, and so that was confusing for me flowing mm. because you moved into, I think, NATO Unity. Is that a separate advantage, to be clear? Uh, NATO Unity. Let's see. I, th I, I think so. Okay. So, yeah, I need that to be clear that's a separate advantage because when I was flowing, you, you, you went from like many countries have cyber attacks that are targeting critical infrastructure to NATO unity. And I was like, wait, is that a new advantage? What does that mean? You know? I see. Would I just like say like advantage one when I'm reading it just before? Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah, just like you know, the first advantage is cyber warfare. You know. Uh, okay. And so on. Um. Yeah. So same thing with advantage three. Um. It was a little bit confusing, but that's fine. You'll, you know, you'll fix that. And it'll be good. Um. So I did want to ask about advantage three as well. Did you only read the one card, like the references of elections and populism is bad? Was that the only card you read? I, th I think so. Let me make sure. The war. Yeah, before the plan. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, same thing. I told Daniel. Try to put more stuff in there. Just more sub substance for the advantage. So you have more to fall back on, because, like, well, that can work if they go after that advantage, then you won't lose much. But on the other hand, if they go after your other two, you're going to be left with that. And what are you going to do with that in the bottom of this? All right. All right. Yeah. OK, so um, moving on. Um, I know that was the main things for me. It's It sounded good. I would just pr really press. Clarity over speed. And that's the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just big clarity over speed. And then yeah, go through go through your um go yeah, go through your speech, see what you can take out, see what you really, really want to keep in. Cause I would yeah. even say hesitantly take out the third advantage and then you and then use that to like fluff up the other ones. Right? Because yeah. you were pretty good on time, but just make sure that you're not like getting there with like a second to spare unless you're yeah. sure you could confidently do that every single time yeah i'm, I'm wondering because like uh, for me personally like I, I try to like be as clear as possible while also being as fast as possible but i'm wondering if like maybe i should prioritize like practicing clarity more uh just in general yeah um clarity is always good i would say as long as you're doing a practice speech don't don't go as fast as you can mm. okay um yeah because when you're when you're actually reading in like a tournament you will read faster than you think you can so mm, if that, so you, you just want that to be clear yeah um so i think what we're gonna do now is um so i'm gonna leave sophia daniel and romero in here you guys are gonna work on just the feedback i've given you so work on like thinning out your novice your or, Sorry. Focus on thinning out your one ACs. Um, once you've done that, if you want to, look into open ed. Find, find a new case. case. We can talk about it later. We can talk about it. We can look at it. We can start to help you make a new one AC for that case. You can feel free to get started as well. Um, while you guys while you guys do that, I'm gonna take if Harper is still here. We're gonna go into a breakout room and talk about front lines. While you guys work on the one AC. I'm going to come back around 650 and just check in.
or five to six hours. So that's not good. Uh, yeah, is it like um? Because I think I do have to go like right at six, but will um, that work? If you have to go, yeah. Yeah, but j just right at six, so I'll, I'll be able to stay for a little bit. Okay. So yeah, if you have to go, feel free. Uh, Harper, are you still here? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, great. So I'm gonna move into the breakout room. We're just gonna talk about front lines for a little bit. Okay. Oh, what? Um, all right. So, did you any front lines ready for the? Oh wait, sorry. I'll let this join and put her in here. Oh, uh, what exactly are front lines? So they're they're answers to blocks. So if I read a block in my app that's like advantage one, your front line is going to be your answer to advantage one. So oh, okay. yeah, I had to Google it like the other day. <laughs> so yeah, it's like one of those words like you know what it means from context, and then when you actually have to define it, you're just like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So just your response to a block. Um, I have a couple documents of various rebuttals <laughs> that I've done, okay. but other than that, I don't. Or there's um this thing, uh this document that um, my partner Sam created that's called Two AC Framework, mm -hmm. which is like a front line, I believe. Okay. All right, great. Yeah, we can just go I through. Don't have editing access, so I'm not sure if I can share it, but. Yeah. It's okay if you can. Like we're it's like we just read through what you have, and then we'll go. We'll go from there. We just work from there. Is there anything you have that like you want feedback on? Um, we've gotten feedback before about our app, just in general, and um, I honestly don't feel that confident. In it. It's like really Sam's app, and. I've been kind of thinking about um, talking about changing it. Mm -hmm. And I was just uh, maybe wondering if you offer any feedback on the app. Yeah, I can do that. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have time. Maybe we could just run through the one AC really, through your one AC really quick. If you don't. Oh, wait, sorry, give me one second. Um, Sophia, just message me. I got a call. Mm, that's all bad. Um, okay. But so what I'm going to do then is I'm okay. So I'm going to check if Ella has any front lines and we're going to go over that. And then if after that, we can go over your one AC. Does that sound good? Okay. Yeah. Um, Ella, do you have any? Do you have anything? I'm very sorry. I'm in the car and have no front lines open in front of me right now. But can I email them to you? Yeah, for sure. You have my email. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I have it from last year. <laughs> All right. Thank great. you. No problem. All right, Harper, do you want to go through your one? You see that? Uh, okay. Um, there's a cold going around my school, so I'm not like at a hundred percent. But um. It's basically a uh, normal duty explains green. Now the world is one snarling, scratching, fighting ball to the patriots. We are one cry, the peace of back prophecy. We are one cry, science of fell contradiction. We are not one and never will be. They made armies, well regulated harasses, and rash and gemmels. They have beautiful battleships to be out, quick and ports, great bunches of wild yoke stallions to hurt the fighting women of lowly races and super classes. Great nations too poor to build schools, libraries, and hospitals. We're rich enough to build magnificent warships of tens of millions of dollars apiece to policies for brains, scan the workings of slavery. They could not cure cancer, but they could spread syphilis. They, nor towers of cathedrals, neck from Dow to erect offices for profit. Now from the statesmen and Harry Drake's brave and apparel and vulnerable and neat, stupid old generals and half-baked carls, ignorant admirals and captains who will now blunder, waste, kill, and cripple, strut and whore, inspire, and come home to be made rulers of men, to talk wisely of matters which they know nothing, while historical women, hysterical women 
gay dribble and applaud. The topic stands to affirm white supremacy and dominance. It stands to affirm Eurocentrism and marginalization of other countries. You cannot stand up for injustice. You cannot decide to prevail with a rhetoric and narrative that tries to continue Eurocentrism. I implore you, judges, to take a stand against Eurocentrism and white supremacy by changing this inherently racist topic that only wants to have the decisions of what to do with our wealth and hegemony that has caused oppression. It was inherently racist. It is a hegemony, hegemonic system ran by Western there are in European countries that function to keep itself in power. Whiteness is embedded within NATO as the default of its face of power. All right, endorsing a plan that works within NATO is endorsing a plan that acts to perpetuate the hegemony of whiteness that NATO stands for form because it benefits from the racist status quo. NATO security corporations sustain itself through a cycle of false black operations and psychological war scares. The Atlantic Project forms a central pillar of fascist and militarism militarization and colonial imperialism, the international system making global war structurally inevitable is hegemonic. They are the reason why the world is what it is today. Camel 19. So, operation of NATO history spread terror and psychological warfare ministry policy maker style and all false flag ops that distorted real causes and security in the world. Evidence of manipulations to ensure survival of NATO, well-documented fraudulent and bombing interventions and bombings of the Balkans. NATO defend the Atlantic project, reversing the South project struggles, struggles by more citizens. Autons of reason was to thwart Soviet aggression, but in practice, a crop for Western capital. Link NATO to military management of the international system. Reflect its mandate under the banner of cooperation. Launched Afghanistan, Iraq, and militarists. Sorry, I have a hard time getting through this card. No shortage of lit literature on NATO milestones, but very the few documented crimes. Terror and atrocities from Algeria, Indonesia, South Africa. Rigorous research techniques uncovered our history. Bland IR discusses NATO inside strategy, conservative democracy, security, cooperation, balance of power, spheres of influence, global south compromise, real meaning of NATO, and it's an, an integral part of Pentagon's world command structure. Moguls willing to wage as many wars, destroy as many countries kill as many people as necessary to achieve dominance of U.S. capitalism, destruction of liberty, a classic example, the conversions of finances, warfare, the weaponization of information, and incessantly bombing to destroy society, war scare, the propaganda method in the digital age, brain hacking, and engineering of tech at the forefront of new weapons of NATO, all Progressive forces join together to concentrate energies in the dismantling of NATO. White supremacy is hidden in the seeming ordinariness. Rejecting it requires breaking the cycle of repetition and white hegemony of policing. This means well, this means rejecting the topic in a second of modes of dominant discourse. Focus on intentional wars intentionally international wars intentionally also the rewards occurring on the domestic front, which allows for the vicious racing of racist policing of minorities. Marina in section 03. The graciousness of its repetition bestows upon white supremacy and inherent discontinuity. They are hide the hegemony of white supremacy. They dissolve its success and center invisibility, invisibility as simply a daily occurrence. White supremacy is nothing more than what we perceive it. There's nothing beyond it to give it legitimacy, nothing beneath it or nor outside it to give it justification. The structure of its banality is the surface on which it operates. There's no dark corner that beneath the surface of repetition and articulation does not speak yet has always been said. Its truth lies in the rituals that sustain its contentless logic is fact nothing more than its very practices. Advocacy statement, the affirmative key stance rejects the affirmation of the topic, affirming the topic only for this Western modes of domination and dumb and systematic forms of oppression of performed pedagogy advantage by voting act. Judge, you stand to affirm the affirmative speech act. The affirmative pedagogical performance is not merely just an ontological question, but is a deliberate act of counter demonic discourse. Why is it white supremacy stands as a the cultural defense centered up? of our everyday spaces, we must engage in counter hegemonic undertakings of white power that have been upheld by this topic. A voting app allows for the formation of performative pedagogy by moving away from white supremacist forms of debate from an inherently racial norms. There's a couple. Um, whiteness is a performative construct that is made and remade every time a simple everyday act is propped up or reiterated. Performative pedagogy is an active process of dismantling white supremacy by interrupting its reproduction and making visible and present it invisible in nature scholars sought to deconstruct racial privilege by examining whiteness as a cultural political location as an identity created and maintained through our everyday communication. Whiteness is a real strategic rhetoric, a means by which people working in concert and often 
and reflect a lily of Levi power and cultural influence. This perspective may help us to understand the role of language and how social systems and individuals work in concert to create racial oppression. Critical creating critical performance of performances of whiteness function to mirror the mechanisms and machinations of their oppressive actions. However, on reflective ethnographic portraits of whiteness have given depth and immediacy to our understanding of people in this context. Ontographers, because of their um, plumb their lives or particular details and contradicts of how they are they create and are created by culture have constituted a rich repository for the study of how each of us works to understand his or her own ethnic identity studies and education have also created critical context for context for understanding how witness permeates our classroom such work focuses to remind us of the pedagogy tower of pedagogy and help us see and re-see actions we take challenge or leave unquestioned Reading whiteness as a performative construct provides thought provoking example of how whitenesses and identities communitively reproduce through our everyday actions. White identities made and remade through our reiterative pattern communication choices. We draw from these modes of analysis as they function to call out whiteness as a political and social force. What we See missing is an action-oriented research project that holds accountable ourselves and the members of our community who want to reform. How do you make meaningful critiques in a way that experientially and as the participants put their body on the line, a research process that could make visceral, the invisible and naturalized processes of whiteness more visible, more visceral, more present. We must articulate a process for combating whiteness as a political force in our schools, in our homes, and in our communities. A process that must be both an exercise of the mind and a rethinking through the body. It must be hold those our everyday talk and our social and our everyday actions accountable for the way that we reduce whiteness as a social socially powerful, culturally centered location. In fierce pedagogy, the press, his methodology for critical literacy groups, this participation ethnographic is, ident is ideally suited for engaging and incorporating the body into theories of liberation, thus helping us to maintain our focus, our focus on the process, the performances by which the individuals come to an act and constitute a as a social system. Such a movement engagement allows for participants to see whiteness as a performative process the role of the judge the role of the judge is to vote for, for whoever best methodologically combats oppression inside and outside of the debate space role of the ballot your centric western ideologies lay at the axis of globalized oppression vote apt to endorse the performative practices that resist the repetition of pervasive structures of whiteness and the affirmative ballot stands to confirm combat normative processes which lead by privileges for those who benefit from whiteness whiteness will continue to prop itself up so it must be reciprocated with various capacities of subversion, subversive practices are crucial to those who have been otherwise. Voting app also increases our solvency by boosting our reputation, allowing us to do go to things like finals and other high profile tournaments where the people can watch us in these debate rounds, such as, spect as spectators who can go out and spread this kind of hegemonic discourse. Our solvency is exponential. Voting app increases the amount of people that will hear our arguments and come at oppression. So that last part is the main problem that we've been seeing a lot in like Georgia's feedback about um, the like boosting of the reputation and going to other tournaments thing. So that's mm -hmm. the main, there's also other stuff, but that's the main thing. But um, there's also a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna say like, yeah. stop it there. Um, just because you, did, you ran out of time around roll of the ballot, I just wanted to see what the role of the ballot was, but so yes, yeah, so I want to like just consider like getting some stuff out of the way up there so you can actually get the role of the ballot because that's really big, or just put role of the ballot earlier in the speech. Yeah. Um, my thing with this is your one AC sound like it okay because at the beginning it sounds like it wants to be a cap K, right? And then later it sounds like an Afro pass K that's trying it's to. I like so this is supposed to be a um Afro K and so <laughs> it was like so the like the story behind it is that um my partner Sam and I believe Mathino wrote this and uh it's been the same thing all year and I like it was basically like made before I came and to like the team and stuff. So, yeah. and like, I'm not really sure, like, it's, it's got, it's, it's a kind of weird app. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got that vibe too, <laughs> to be totally honest with you. Um, like, yeah, my thing is, I don't know, it sounds like... Like I said before, it sounds like a Cap K app that wants to be an Afro Piss K. It sounds like it's trying to do too many things at once. Like, I don't know, it's because, like, at the beginning... Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I've said, like, maybe we should add more Cap K stuff to it, because... Yeah. But, like, the people have been like, no. I would agree with that. No to, like, adding more Cap K stuff, and... Yeah. Like, I mean, I've never really noticed it before, but for some weird reason, as I was reading it, I was just like, this sounds a bit like Cap K. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, I'm not sure. It's, it's like, it's, it's a weird thing that Sam and Mathino created that, <sighs> needs to be addressed. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think like the sides, like I think, because there's definitely like a general like, like, but like I don't, I don't want to sound rude, but I don't. Well, because like you know, there's a general like you know like white people should not be running Afropess, black people or black debaters should be running Afropessimism because they have, there's like an innate connection there, right? Yeah. Like that would be the other thing I would say is like, you know, maybe, you know, because like there's a very good chance you could get hit on that in a round of the fact yeah, that- I've gotten hit on yeah. that before. Right, and it's like, and why do you want to risk that? that? <laughs> Actually, in our um last round, which was judged by Amy, um, we went against uh, the team, and they completely tore us apart for that. Yeah. Yeah, and like, at, and during feedback, feedback was tough that round. Oh, I know. <laughs> <It's unfortunate. laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I mean. <sighs> yeah, I mean, Amy will absolutely point you in the dire- in the right direction, though. Like, even if like she does give real talk, like she knows what she's talking about. Yeah. But yeah. Um. But anyway. Yeah. So definitely, like, listen to like whatever she told you. Like, get on that because that's good information that you want to use ASAP. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to Sam and Messino, but, and I was, like, planning on talking to them today, but then Sam didn't show up, so I didn't get the chance to talk to Sam, so I think I might need to schedule that. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. I do with you. Yeah. yeah, I would say definitely get on that, because, like, just, like, besides the stuff that we've already talked about, um, yeah, you just, you don't want to be on, on the wrong page with your partner about your case, just in general. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, just, like, why, why risk getting hit on white people running at Afropens if you can help it, right? If you can run a Cap-K app and not risk losing a round on the basis that you're running Cap-K, why risk it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, take what you can get, yeah. But you're, you're speaking- Sounded good, for what it's worth, like- <laughs> Moving past that, your speaking sounded good. I agree with you about changing that. I think that's my big thing. Yeah. One part that I've been really wanting to cut is the one that's like really weird to read, the one about um, uh, NATO sustaining itself through a cycle of false flag operations. Mm-hmm. Because that takes up most of my speech time most of the time, like just struggling to read it because it's so weirdly highlighted. Okay. So it sounds like you need to re highlight that card at some point. If you want to email it to me, I can look through it at another time or we can look through it together at some point. Just because I'm like very aware that it's 555. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but I did not realize that. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to send it to me, I can look through it. We can look through it. Um. I don't know, we can figure it out at some point. I'm always happy to help. But 
yeah, so like I would definitely suggest re-highlight that card. If there's any other cards that give you trouble, re-highlight them. Don't be afraid to do that. Because especially if, so I'm assuming this is your speech, so. Yeah, um, so Sam likes doing this weird thing called ins and outs, where it's like I do the first two, I do the first speech and then the last speech, and then Sam does like the middle speeches. And I like, I don't really like the ins and outs. Mm -hmm. I've been kind of trying to get us like away from ins and outs for a while, yeah. but um, Sam's pretty. And so, like one time I was like, "Hey, can we not do ins and outs?" And so then we did not do ins and so we didn't do ins and outs for one round, mm -hmm. and then back to ins and outs. And so, yeah. And I'm, I'm like, I'm not sure if I should change the cards in any way because it's like. Sam's case, Sam's cards, and I'm not sure whether or not Sam would appreciate me re highlighting cards. Well, it's, it's your speech. You get to choose what you read. It's not, like, frankly, it's not Sam's decision. Like, if you're reading the 1AC, you choose what you read in the 1AC, unless it's like somehow detrimental to the debate as a whole. Okay, so. I think I'm just like if you're gonna, if you're cutting out cards, tell your partner. But if you're just rehighlighting a card and it's gonna have the same message, that's fine. Just tell your partner, hey, I'm rehighlighting this card. I cannot read this. Okay. okay. Oh, sorry, that was my family in the background. Um, but the other other thing that I wanted to bring up as well okay. is just I'm could just this. Af, I'm just confused how it solves it all, to be totally honest, because I'm like, you come into this round being like, our country is too poor to invest in schools, but it can do war, right? And then the topic confirms white supremacy. White supremacy is really bad. Racist hegemonies are bad. Rejects the topic. That's so the solution. Ba so basically, the idea is that we create counter hegemonic discourse through performative pedagogy. Yeah. which combats oppression mm -hmm. and that's basically our solvency and it's like mm -hmm. that's kind of it hard to back up yeah because you know we always go uh and they're like well and they're like we create counter hegemonic discourse to perform pedagogy in this round and mm -hmm. like then they're like well you've already educated us so yeah. so all this you completed why do you need the ballot and so then yeah. so the reason that we need the ballot is that so that we could go to more tournaments and gain bigger reputation and spread our counter hegemonic discourse to everybody all across the United States. So, see, I don't understand in that case why it's not a cap cake, because then you could be like, rejecting the hegemonic discourse gives us the chance to get the funding that we need to do more things. And that means that we can spread the word more about how people like us can succeed, right? Like something like that, right? Is that's that's where that's where I'm coming from. Just like, why isn't it that? Well, like, so it the, like that's where it's going. We've actually brought up in investments in schools earlier in the speech. Yeah. So the basic, like, we've actually had CapK run against us a ton of times, and like most times we've actually permed it. Mm -hmm. So exactly. it'd probably be pretty easy to just turn it into a CapK. Yeah. But so I'm like, not. I would sure. say turn it into a CapK. Yeah. yeah. Like, turn into a cap pay app. it's about rejecting the resolution and like it focuses on like underrepresented schools going to more tournaments you know and you can have like like if you guys really want to i don't know if you do but you can have like a racial capitalism thing on like the sideline right i just think it doesn't need to be the main focus especially if you guys are moving around on it i might actually be able to get sam to agree to that yeah, talk to him about that. Yeah. Sorry, I'm being blunt, by the way. It's like, I feel like with chaos, you have to, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, sorry if I'm being, like, really blunt. Yeah, Sorry, I've actually been, like, looking for a way to, like, change our app. And, like, I, like, I've been wanting to change our app because I don't really like the app very much. And it's, like, really... Sam's up. Sam's. 
kind of thing. But I'm not sure, like, been sure, like, how to change the app without, like, be just being immediately shut down by Sam and Athena. And, like, I haven't really been able to find something that they actually agree to. So this might actually be something that they can, that they, that they might agree to. So okay. uh, that's actually very good. So. That's great. Yeah. Love to see it. Okay. I'm going to say, I, okay. I want to keep talking about this, but I have to run back and check on the novice now. But okay. if, you, if you need anything else, um, you can message me on Slack. You probably have my email. I think you have my email. Do you have my email? No, I do not. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the chat just in case if you need anything. You can okay. just email me. Probably message me on, on Slack, Slack first if I don't respond, email me. And then yeah. But yeah, like yeah, definitely recommend the cap the cap angle. I know Sam likes capitalism. <laughs> like yeah, recommend that. I think I think that'll just go better. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Um, so I'm back. It's six o'clock. So Daniel, if you want to go over your bunny seat, we can. I'm going to get kicked out of this room soon, though. But if you want to go over it, you can. But if you need to leave, you can leave. Or if you want to leave, you can leave. Because it is six after six. Okay, for sure. Do I you have to leave right now? Um, I might have to leave in a few minutes. I have to leave. But as of right now, um, I have to leave. As of right now, I'm good. So it's up to you. Um, if you want to leave, you can leave. I would not like hold it there. against you because it's after six. Uh, I think I can run over my speech one more time. I added two more cards, so I'm not sure if that'd be enough to reach the whole eight minutes. Okay. Yeah, if you want to try it, let's do it. All right. All right let me just slide them into my um, speech order. Oh. All right, stuck on my first word. Um, give me one second. Sorry, I'm gonna make you a uh, okay. Yeah, making you a boot take. Hang on my spreadsheet. Um, ready? Oh god. Okay, get uh, spicy sauce. Go back to my guest, and also some. Uh, all right. Thank Just you. Hold on one minute. Um, all right, I'm ready when you are. You're... All right. Uh, first word. Yeah. Starting now. Uh, when is the advantage one in Russia? Uh, the United States needs to increase cyber efforts with NATO to improve NATO and their own cyber security, especially against Russia. It was at all 2016. Developments in the cybersecurity operations of NATO will have paralleled the growth of cybersecurity as a major policy concern in the United States. The digital revolution has changed the basic environment in which governments operate, necessitating increasing levels of cross-border interdependence and connectivity. NATO cybersecurity ha has thus far improved insufficient to fully address the growing, the growing cyber threat landscape. Cyber attacks are becoming more frequent, more organized, and more costly. NATO itself has been targeted directly by Russian hackers. Attack by Russia on the Ukrainian power grid underscores the fact that Russian cyber attack capabilities are very real. Next. Strong international cybersecurity is essential to preventing Russia's escalating war. Cyber war. Sa Migrate 2022. In December 2020, Russian intelligence infiltrated a U.S. tech firm floor with an inserted malware. The virus spread into uh, the Pentagon, the State Department, Homeland Security, and other U.S. government agencies. Is, is the hack, hack had been noticed? It's it's all right. Politically Thank motivated you. cyber attacks interfere in democratic, democratic processes and political disclosure. The Ukrainian government has been hit by a series of cyber attacks that wiped out data on government computers. There's, around the globe, critical infrastructure has long been vulnerable to attack. Next. 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 Um, event. Russian cyber attacks exploit the nuclear war. CNBC 2022. The threat posed by Russia could become more acute if it felt humiliated on the battlefield. Putin has a history of escalating unpredictability. If he feels that Russia is being humiliated in some way, and if there are major setbacks, Exxon there's a risk of unbreakable action. Putin enjoy, enjoys using risk and has a much more of an appetite for risk in the, in the West. Ultimately, if he uses nuclear weapons, even a demonstration strike, this will turn Russia into a global pariah. Next, next, next. one AC advantage two, civic engagement. And many Americans lack trust in the election process. Northwestern University 
2020, Americans lack confidence in the fairness of the 2020 presidential election. Elections are the foundation of our democracy and loss of faith in the process could undermine the new administration's legitimacy and ability to get things done. Foreign country interference was a mis- concern for 59%. And the results make it clear that we have a long way to go to restore faith in the electoral process. Yes. Next. Next. People of color... <coughs> People of color vote out turnout is already low. Election fraud is another way to stop them from voting. American Bar Association 2020. With ethnic and racial minority populations in the, U- in the United States writing, I mean, there is a growing in population of voices that remain unaccounted for. Through certain legislation, it has been implemented to ensure fair and impartial voting access. There is too much leeway given to state governments in the voting system execution. As a result, restrictions in the election system have, have resulted in systematic discrimination towards minority populations making them ineligible to vote. <clears throat> Minorities have a lower voter turnout compared to whites, and in many cases, this has restricted, resulted in the discriminatory polling place distribution. Disparities in polling places can also be the result oh, of a change in the majority of election officials. Next. Next. The U.S. cybersecurity and constant attacks from Russia is, is the cause for a growing election distrust. U.S. News 2018. State election officials and social media executives worked to limit it in the 2020 elections by Russia and other foreign operatives. An unsettling truth is emerging. Putin may be succeeding. Russian meddling in the 2016 campaign in the sweeping is systemic. The damage it may have already been done. This is Vladimir Putin's game plan. So distrust, discord, disillusion, and division. It's this playbook for all Western democracies. It's, we're vulnerable to disinformation. There's the real danger to such distrust in the integrity of our election system. Um, 63% of Americans don't trust the media for fair and accurate campaign reporting. The diminished trust in institutions is worrisome, since it is those very institutions that inform the pub- public of possible election meddling and handle the consequences of a disrupted election. And next, next, Russian, or when I see advantage three, is social media. Russian information has sabotaged NATO's cohesion. A series of narratives 